Siento mucho que has tenido que ver eso. Los hombres pueden ser asquerosos. ¿Verdad que sí? Y todavía no encuentro la excepción. Pues, permíteme presentarme. Soy Daniel. Daniel and I spent the entire day together. Y los lacuaches parecen pequeños demonios así bien feos y los odio. ¡Sí! Right, right. He hated possums. What a hunk. Anyway, my night with Daniel kept going. It was like a romantic movie. Sara, nunca había conocido a alguien como tú. Eres segura de ti misma, divertida. Tus ojos son como un atardecer. Y Sara, sobre todo, no tengo duda alguna que eres la más inteligente de tu familia. He did not say that. Anyway, as I was saying, we were looking deep into each other's eyes. And then, it happened. Ahora todo tiene sentido. Siento lo mismo. Y ya sé que nos acabamos de conocer y que la gente va a decir que estamos locos, pero no me importa. ¿Qué? ¿Qué haces? No. Digo, tú eres increíble, en serio. Y no me lo vayas a tomar mal, pero jamás en mi vida quiero volver a besar a un hombre. ¿Y cómo me tomo eso a bien? Que no pudiste quedarte en tu cuarto y darme mi privacidad. ¿Cómo crees que me siento que todo el mundo sabe que mi papá es un borracho? Como si no fuera suficiente que nada en esta casa funciona, también tienes que arruinar la única cosa que me importa. ¿Por qué crees que me quiero mudar, eh? Eres una vergüenza. No lo así, hijo. Sabe. What are we at? Eight to nine. So, still winning. We're about ten more seconds. To your shot. You need an escort? We're not going. Maggie, she died begging for our help. I understand it. But we're barely holding on as it is. <sighs> That's not a point there. Asshole always has somebody else who's doing anywhere. We can recover any of their weapons, follow the trail back to their camp, and then we end this. On it. You ready, bud? It's ever. Let's do it. Marco! Get down! Marco? Maybe we have two two-person teams. Looper on the part of the grid. See what we see. Okay. Let's do it. One loop, no risks. And get Oscar from the gate. We're gonna need a fourth. I'll do it. You need help, I'm your guy. I'll go check with Oscar. No, 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 no. Marco here thinks he wants to learn the trade. Think your dad will take on another apprentice? I don't see why not. I can't tell if he likes me. He's just quiet. I mean, he comes across as grumpy. I don't think I've ever seen the guy smile. All right, he's just... He needs to get to know you first. The 
the horses. These were all in St. Luke's. Can anyone name him? Oh. A girl can do what she wants to do, and that's what I'm gonna do. Oh. Damn them, I'm freed! We were in a groove! What is the matter with you? What's the matter with me? You! It's hard enough to concentrate without you and Mother Courage. Mother Plague. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> she showed me the watch. Said that she was gonna pawn it in the morning and use the cash to go back to school. Be like you, she said. Believe that? She was going to leave me too. So she went to sleep and I tried to sneak the watch out, but she woke up and she totally freaked on me. So I, I pushed her and, and she hit her head and there was so much blood. It, it was an accident. I swear that I didn't. Declan, show us your hands right now. Why aren't you drinking? No sex, no partying, no bucket list of idiotic crap to do. You need to take advantage of these last days. What, so you think I should get wasted, jump out of a plane and smash someone off the gunner app? That's my plan. Hey, look at this one. Profile says she's local and gonna die in two days. She's 74 years old. Your attitude about this is ruining five of my last 30 days. Hey, when are you gonna get someone to fix the sink? Call the police. I'm gonna shit on that guy's ham. My parents got deported. And this was a while ago, if you can believe it. And now it's sorta, uh, really in fashion, I guess you could say. And you didn't wanna go with them? Nah. Sucks, but... No opportunity here. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish. Do you have any idea who my father is? No, I don't. I have no idea who you are. You're making a big mistake. No shit. I'll call Marco right now. Estás muerto, cabrón. English, please. You're dead. That's the name of the guy they'll send to cut your dicks off. Then he'll make you eat them. Whoa, dude. Look, I was coming home from school once when I was like, Eight. Some guy put me in the back of the van. 24 hours later, I was back at home drinking at Yoohoo. And the guys that snatched me were headless, hanging from a bridge. It's up to you. Yeah, we made it rain! Why are you shushing me? Oh, I'm, I'm just, my, my, my head is splitting right now. I think I saw some PD water in your fridge last night. Good call. I need you in top form today. We got major plans. Here. I made us a second list of all the asshats that wronged us. I want to see you get justice. You're kidding, right? You can't have eternal bliss if you leave here with loose ends. And then maybe tonight you can take care of that other loose end. Sex. If I had a woman like Miss Amanda USA over here, <laughs> I would never leave the house. Thank you, Jordan. Yeah, thank you, Jordan. It was really creepy. <laughs> you need to spin a bead with Mr. Green Acres over here. He's got a Dow Dam living off land. First dude on the scene of a disaster. How does everybody know everything about Nate? I've been to his bio. This man's stats are on fleek. Play your cards right. Mm -hmm. Son, what happens in this room right now, right now, determines if you die in prison, an old man, or you walk free by your 25th birthday. Last night, I almost slept in a house on a street called Sawyer. Hey, Sawyer's a big street near it, on it. Um, it, it was blue. There, there was Chinese across the street. 